What is the crack, lads, and welcome back to another squad review or player pack review, we should call it. We are now doing Inter Milan. So a lot of people have been asking me for this. And I also did a, a, an AC Milan pack review as well for the special premium edition of the Inter Milan pack. And again, it goes without saying, lads, these are optional. And I think that there are some nice players in this. But as ever, you can and we will go. We are going to be showing you guys and we will have a little look on eFootballDB.com. We will see about the standard players and actually making the standard players comparable with some of these, you know, for, for not too much GP. I mean, if you have been playing the game for a bit now and you've played even the AI events or whatever, you're going to have amassed a lot of GP, which you can then buy any player that you want. So we are going to go through this fairly quick. We are going to go through five or six of the players here, uh, you know, fairly quick because they're nothing really special. I don't think they're not an extraordinary. They're not going to change your squad too dramatically. And then we are going to focus on the top five rated guys in this pack as well. So let's get right into it, starting us off with Darmian. So again, nothing really special about this card. He's got standard form. He's on C rating this week as well. He does have 29 levels, as you can see here. Um, with his, with like being able to actually progress him and being able to have his training into that but again his base stats as an offensive full back are just not solid enough for you know you to be upgrading him because the minute that you put his speed and acceleration up to 80 you're going to have very 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 low defensive awareness tackling and aggression or else if you focus on the defensive side of the game you're not going to be able to have that stamina or acceleration and then of course your passing is going to be down as well i think if you are playing as a right back or playing a right back you need to have a very solid right back if you're playing five at the back it's not so much uh, that you need defensively because your three center backs will be able to do a lot of the work for you but i do think that even with this guy darmian he does have fighting spirit and man marking, which is not bad. But I do think that he's just a little out of sorts. And there is a lot better right backs that you can buy for quite cheap that you will be able to actually do. Check out some of my videos where I have right backs for all budgets. I will leave a link if I think of it. Next up, we've got DeMarco. And again, you can kind of rinse and repeat what I just said here, except switch wings, switch sides, because he's a left back, full back finisher. He's got a couple of nice player skills, interception, weighted pass, first time shot. So as you can tell here, he is a very good pass passer of the ball and he will go up to like you know 90s if you want to upgrade his passing very easily because he does have 26 levels but again lads you know he's just not going to change the dial too much tackling aggression all low offensive awareness and defensive awareness both low he doesn't really have any mastery about him he's kind of a jack of all trades which are some of the weaker players in the game where they don't know whether they're coming or going or whether they're an attacking player or a defensive player so you can get a lot better left backs if you don't have you know the budget for Davies or Jordi Alba or somebody like that or Cancelo that you can play on both wings um there are some good options in the left backs slot as well next up we've got Ambrosia who is a center back and again nothing really to write home about i mean what i do like about this guy obviously is his fighting spirit man marking and heading even though he's not the tallest of center backs right he is a beast in the air i've actually got his standard card and he is a bit of a beast he's kind of one of these guys that plays above his stats i will say that so i imagine this card is going to be a bit of a tank as well and he does have a really nice kind of solid you know speed acceleration tackling aggression 69 for defensive awareness they're all in around that 70 mark like low 70s mid 70s defensive engagement his heading is 79 his actual in the air aerial ability is quite good as well he's able to get up and stuff with his high jumping stat and you can upgrade him if you concentrate on his aerial strength but again he is not going to i don't think change the dial for you and even compared to some of the center backs on the ac milan pack i just don't think he is at uh you know the, at the best of the pack there either next up we've got mickey mikitarian um uh, obviously ex manchester united player so again an attacking midfielder there's a lot better attacking midfielders than him but he does have some exceptional player skills and a lot of unusual player skills such as track back and he has heel trick chip shot control flip flap one touch pass true passing and he's also got standard form, which a lot of these cards do, except for the top four or five boys. I, what I like about Mkhitaryan, lads, I think he's actually worth a punt. I think if you do get this pack and you decide to get it for, you know, Lukaku or Lataro Martinez or whoever, I think Mkhitaryan is definitely one you should train up. He's, he's He looks like a beast. Like, look at all those stats, man. You've got really nice stats and a nice assortment of stats. So, yeah, he's a nice player that you could look for. A creative playmaker is always nice to have in your team. 
We've got Gossens up last but not least with two more guys and then we'll go over to eFootball DB and compare a couple of the players. So this guy is kind of, again, he's caught between both positions. He's not fast enough to have him as like an outright winger. In fact, he can only play uh, left wing um, and even at that, he's not going to be most utilized there. He's more of a kind of a track back left midfielder, you know what I mean? And he's got fighting spirit. He's got track back interception and aerial superiority. Um, he can actually play DMF or right back or left back. He would be a very decent left back. I think I think if you take a look at this guy as a left back, he turns into a bit of a beast, you know, raise up that defensive awareness a little bit, raise up that acceleration into like 85, 86. His passing and his dribbling is good enough for a left midfielder. And he's going to be naturally defensive as well because he has got that box to box. He's also got early crosser, which is quite very, very nice as well. So moving on, we have got Kalanglo. And he is going to have an A rating, creative playmaker. He's probably an upgrade on Mkhitaryan. His stats are very similar, but he's also got exceptional free kick uh, set piece taken ability there. Um, all these players have 80 possession game as well. So this guy has got, you know, every skill that he could possibly have and what you need as an attacking midfielder, center midfielder. This guy is a bit of a kind of a, an enigma in terms of how he plays in game. I have his standard card. He can play so many positions. He always seems to have a load of time on the ball, even though his stats aren't the best. And I think that if you inc increase his speed a little bit and increase his passing, you know, you can get his passing, his low pass into the 90s um, or his loft to pass into the 90s if you choose because he has 25 levels to go. He's also got a nice card as well and he is on A rating. So I definitely think stick him into your team if you do get this pack. So moving on, we are going to be looking at these five boys here, right? So Handanovic is the goalkeeper. We're going to be starting with him now we're actually going to go over to eFootballDB.com and show you what Handanovic can actually turn into and then we're going to be giving you a GP alternative if you do not want to buy this pack or if you have bought this pack and Handanovic or somebody just isn't doing it free and you're looking for an upgrade there is a couple of recommendations there as well including my you know best overall recommendation so again Handanovic has got a really nice card here as you can see um, and we take a look at that. He's got a really nice player render. He looks kind of good. Um, reflexes is a little bit of a worry, obviously, because he's only got 21 levels to upgrade. But when we actually head over here to eFootballDB.com, we're going to see he is maxed out at 91 overall. And he's going to have 91 reflexes, 86 clearing, 87 catching, 83 awareness, and 80 reach. His possession game obviously is set at 80, so that's going to be nice. Um, rest of his stats are quite decent, but again, is he going to be a top-tier goalkeeper? Some are saying that he's an absolute beast. I would still argue that my man Donnarumma is the guy to get if you're looking for an end-game goalkeeper. If you're looking for somebody that can just dominate games, he will make mistakes. All the goalies make mistakes in the game, but he, oh, he, you know, he overshadows him and he improves on every single one of his... Uh, stats his individual stats apart from goalkeeper awareness and clearing i think which you don't really need um he's also got three form which is a big plus um even though handanovic has only got one form that's going to be a big problem for you his inconsistent form is going to be a big problem he's just not going to ever be up lads for the match so that is a big problem so i would definitely recommend donnarumma for this he's 390,000 gp eFootballDB has been uh, fully updated with all the player levels and the, the correct gp so um this is all accurate information um so yeah i would definitely pass on handanovic if you do get him so we'll exit out of that uh next up we have got brozovic so we will take a look at brozovic in a second but we're going to just stick to eFootballDB.com. it's probably easier to see all the stats laid out here um we do have brozovic who is a dmf now this guy has got some exceptional now he's actually a 96 overall player as you see over here he's 96 overall as a cmf right this guy is just i don't know where he's after coming from in terms of he looks like he could be he could be a meta kind of DMF, right? He looks like an absolute beast. 90 passing, 84 ball control, 77 offensive awareness, which you don't really need, 80 acceleration, 80 defensive awareness, and 83 defensive engagement with 87 tackling and aggression, 92 stamina. Absolutely incredible card. Now, you might have seen at the start of this that I, I flicked onto Fabinho, right? So Fabinho is in a similar kind of position to him. 
they've got very similar stats so Fabinho's got 75 speed 75 acceleration Brozovic has got five more in acceleration points for him passing he's a couple of more over him as well and defensively they're very very similar ball control is very very similar so Fabinho is obviously like not going to be as good but they play very similar I've played with Fabinho on my other account he does actually become a beast when you play him as a dmf and just use him as a stopper you don't need him to be dictating the play you don't need him to be absolutely dominating midfield for you and attacking and all that sort of stuff use him basically as a as a kind of a a non-legend patrick vieira makalele type player plus he is only 200,000 gp as well which is nothing for that so moving on lads we do have martinez right so if we go back and have a look at martinez's card over on uh, eFootball uh, 2023, you will see that he does have a rating and he's got a bag of player skills, fighting spirit, first time shot, dipping shot. This guy, I think if you don't have um, Romario and you don't have Mbappe and you don't have Son and you're looking for a kind of somebody to just have as an instant goal scoring threat that it will score goals for you, right? He is an absolute beast, right? So we're going to go back and we're going to take a look at his final stats here. Unbelievable. 85 speed, 90 acceleration. Incredible. 89 offensive awareness, 88 finishing. Absolutely amazing stats. 80 ball control, 78 dribbling. Kick and power, 83. Balance, 89. That's the big key there. This guy has probably been, from testing him, he's probably been the closest to Romario that I have got because he is a smaller type player. He's not the tallest, so he's very similar to Romario. Um, Mbappe, obviously, is just kind of a machine as well as Son. But I do think that Martinez is very, very similar. If you're used to playing Romario and you're just looking for it to freshen it up or you've seen people use Romario and you have a similar play style to those guys and you don't have Romario, I definitely think Martinez is a guy that you should, you should get. Even his standard card is exceptional. Now, if you are looking for a cheaper alternative to that, you could be looking at Auba. Aubameyang, 76,000 GP, very cheap. He's actually got better speed and acceleration and offensive awareness. Finishing is very similar. All that lets him down really is his ball control, which isn't a huge issue, I don't think, with this card, you know. And obviously, he's got two form as well. Kick and power, balance, and stamina is way down, obviously. But a lot of the players in the game, if they are over 180 centimeters, they always have poor balance. So there's nothing you can really do about that. I mean, Haaland has 59 balance, as far as I know. It doesn't really get in the way of things. It's just that you will get pushed off the ball more easily, especially now with the with the manic OP uh, defensive side of the game. But again, absolutely incredible card. I think he's probably the pick of the bunch um, as we go through that. Next up, we've got Lukaku again. Lukaku's a left-footed center forward. He is a bit of a beast. 85 and 84 for his speed and acceleration. 90 offensive awareness. 85 finishing. 91 physical contact. His jump is quite poor and his header is quite poor. So I think that if you are looking for a very, very, very different approach to attack if you don't want to just keep it on the deck and play to feet if you're looking to kind of mix it up a bit Lukaku will be a good option but the one form here lads kills him right he's an inconsistent form which I think is realistic based on his real life form but his one form is going to kill him so if you are looking for an alternative right we could be worse in looking for this guy Antonio from West Ham very similar speed obviously the finishing is going to be not as good and his strength isn't going to be good but this guy offers something different because he's got 88 jump 86 physical contact he's got two form and he's got header which is quite good as the finishing is fine as well his dribbling is fine everything is good this guy's only 34,000 gp so you basically could find that down the back of your couch there is nothing to be lost by getting this guy throwing him out to the bench and seeing what he does for you and then last but not least lads we do have borella who is the last of these players on eFootball 2023, as we see here. So Barella is here, a very, very good player. Again, he's got B rating at the moment. He's a smaller base player as well, but he's got some excellent player skills. Acrobatic clearance, interception, track back, pinpoint crossing. This guy, I think, is one of the best centre midfielders in the game, bar none. Uh, he is a really, really nice player. Obviously, he has got the unwavering form as well. And when we actually take a look at his final stats here, you will see that we have got 91 balance, 89 low pass, 86 acceleration, 80 offensive awareness, 77 defensive awareness. He is an unbelievable card, lads. A really, really good card. There is a couple of better cards out there. If you wanted to take a look at, say, Marcus Lorente, who I've covered before. Um, you could take a look at Kovacic from Chelsea. He is one that you could take a look at. 
but the guy I would probably recommend to get would be Valverde, so from Real Madrid, very similar style of player, obviously a bit taller than him, but a very similar style of player, his stats kind of track up quite well, including the stamina, including the low pass, including the acceleration, and including a lot of other player skills, as well as the roles that he can play, so that is it for me lads, I will be back quite soon with another video, um, that is it for the Inter Milan pack, hope you enjoy this, and I will talk to you later, don't forget to subscribe, peace.